We have a new show here at WCCO and our friend here, Susan Elizabeth, is the anchor of this show. It's called WCCO Sunday Morning. It's been on for two Sundays now. And, and Suze, tell us all about it because there's something special about this show. Oh, you know how excited I am about this, Heather. It's, <laughs> it is really different. It's actually a full hour of news focused on good news. I think our boss said it best when she announced this show. It's focused on positivity and empowerment. It's basically a local version of CBS Sunday Morning with Jane Pauley, and who doesn't love that, right? Right, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and some of the stories that you've covered, I mean, you've done it all here. I mean, we've gone from online dating to men crocheting. I mean, it's, it's great. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, the story that you did yesterday about the men's crochet or the men's knitting club. I loved it. I thought it was just fantastic. Yes, I think that we're really broadening our mind when we think about knitting and crocheting. Fiber arts have actually exploded in the Twin Cities. We did a story about that. We talked about how all ages and genders, there's a big club here, the men's knitting club. And then I talked with a Wisconsin crochet phenom. His name is Jonah Larson. You will not forget him. So commonly knitting and crocheting and the fiber arts as a whole are more stereotypical for grandmas to do in their rocking chair. But once I started it, I wasn't aware of that and I just did it because I loved it and I can make really beautiful things. Uh, all <laughs> beautiful things he has made, 14 yeah. years old. Right, but that's the kind of stories we're doing. We're kind of hitting you in the heart. And then you're right, we did something on online dating. And we actually got a huge response from that. 30% of adults do it. It's the most common way to meet people. We even had some advice on that. And then next week, Heather, you've heard me talk about this. Yeah. Riley, I'm hoping everyone out there will want to see this story. This is a story about wheelchair etiquette. It's coming up this Sunday. It's things that those of us who don't use wheelchairs should know about inner interacting and supporting wheelchair users. Mm, that's yeah. great. I mean, especially important too at this time of year yes. with the ice outside and the yes. roads yep. so challenging to in the sidewalks so challenging yeah. mm -hmm. to get around. Um, yeah, I know that response to this show has been fantastic. I mean, this is something that people are really wanting to see. There's so many good stories in our community right yes. now, and you're yeah. getting the chance to share them in a full hour. Right, the bright, kind of the bright, the, the brighter side of things. Yes. Makes you smile and laugh and tune in and actually, you know, and in, in find the positivity of everything too. And know? my favorite thing about this job is getting to honor people. And I feel like we are spending almost an hour of TV just honoring some of the amazing people who live right here in our area. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so to set your DVR, do whatever you need to do. Go to CBSN Minnesota, WCCU.com, 7 a.m. on Sunday mornings. You can watch it from anywhere. Um, check this out, you're gonna, you won't regret it. Yeah, very cool. <laughs>